hit that subscribe button and the bell icon beside it to check out our latest videos before anyone else. What's up everyone, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and these are the 8 reasons to buy the new Honor 7X. First reason would be the display. The most highlighting feature of this phone is its display. It comes with a 5.93 inch IPS display with Full HD Plus resolution and smaller bezels at the top and bottom. Currently this is the cheapest phone that comes with a full view display in Full HD Plus resolution. Playing games or watching videos is a great experience on this phone, especially the black and blue color variants look more immersive. Next we have the dual camera setup. Dual cameras and portrait mode have been the trend of 2017 and just like the Honor 6X, even this phone comes with a dual camera setup and offers portrait mode for rear camera. These are the sample shots. Right out of the box, images are a little dull but you can manually increase the exposure to make the images look bright. Next we have a portrait mode for the front camera. This phone comes with a single 8 megapixel camera on the front, it has wide angle lens and it's pretty decent. Even though it has only one camera, it still offers us portrait mode just like the Honor 9i that comes with a dual camera setup. And in terms of the blur effect, I really couldn't notice much difference between both the phones. These are the sample shots from Honor 7X and Honor 9i using the portrait mode for selfies. There is a huge difference in color reproduction, but the blur effect is the same on both the phones. Next reason to buy is the good memory management. Even the base variant of this phone that is sold at 13,000 rupees comes with 4GB of RAM and this phone has good memory management. People usually talk a lot about the processor and performance, benchmark scores, but forget about RAM management. In fact, it's more important than the processor itself. Here is a small clip of my memory management test between Honor 7X and Moto X4. In terms of raw CPU performance, both are comparable, but as you are seeing, because of good memory management, Honor 7X was able to keep more apps in memory than X4 and it feels way more faster. Link for the speed test and memory management test will be in the description. Next reason to buy this phone is the design and build. At least as of now, all the phones under 15,000 rupees come with a hybrid build of metal and plastic or completely plastic and the same regular design. But this phone comes with a complete unibody metal design with a 2.5D curved Corning Gorilla Glass 3 on the front. On the whole, it looks very premium. It comes in three colors, black, blue and gold and I'll suggest you to go with the blue color. Next reason to buy this phone will be the battery life. Probably one of the major concerns for everyone is the battery life. This phone comes with a 3340 mAh battery and a very power efficient processor built using the 16nm architecture. In my gaming test, even after 1 hour of intensive usage that was playing games, downloading games, using cameras to take a lot of pictures and recording video, phone just used 21% of battery and there was almost no drain in battery at night. It can't last you one and a half day or two days of usage, but it will definitely last you a day. Now the most important reason is probably the whole package itself. This is the only phone under 15,000 rupees or it's specifically 13,000 rupees that comes with a full view display with full HD plus resolution with a complete unibody metal design, a wide angle front camera with portrait mode that actually works and good battery life. Now that's not all. It also has some other good features like it supports dual sim with VoLTE, it has a good mid-range processor, it supports the Kirin 659 processor which can be comparable with Snapdragon 625 and 630. It also comes with a Wi-Fi bridge where you can use your phone like a router to connect more devices to an existing Wi-Fi connection. This feature will be handy for people who travel a lot and stay at places with limited Wi-Fi access. Now finally it's running EMUI so it comes with a lot of customization options and features like app twin to use multiple accounts on the same phone, split screen mode from Nougat, long screenshots and many more. As of now, on the whole it's a great value for money. So if you are looking to buy a phone right now with a full view display, good cameras and good battery life, this is the only choice at this price point. Just like all the phones, this phone isn't perfect either. It has its flaws. So make sure you check out my video on reasons not to buy Honor 7X before making a decision. Link for that video will be in the description. By the way, if you plan on buying this phone, use the link in the description. It really helps our channel. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you want us to make any specific video, tweet out to us with hashtag AskGreedyTech and we will try to make it as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to see more cool videos on tech. I'm Nikhil from GreedyTech signing off. Have a nice day.